Consider our first problem log base 2 of x times z to the fifth power. We scan the inside of our logarithm, and I see the product of two variables, so we may be using the product rule. One of the expressions in our product has the power of 5, so I think we may need the power rule as well. Now, should I handle the product or the power first? Well, that would depend on the problem. But in order to use the power rule, everything within the logarithm must be raised to the power to bring it out front. Since we are not working with x times z all raised to the fifth power, we will not work with the power rule first. So we'll start with the product rule. I have a product of x times z to the fifth power. I can rewrite this single logarithm as log base 2 of x, the first expression, plus log base 2 of z to the fifth power, the second expression. At this stage, we look within each individual logarithm on the right-hand side to see if we can use another rule to expand it more. Well, log base 2 of x is as simple as it can get, so we bring it down as it is. Looking at log base 2 of z to the 5th power, I see everything within our logarithm is raised to the 5th power. So I can bring the 5 out front using the logarithmic power rule and keep everything as is on the inside. At this stage, I look within each one of my logarithms and I think about whether I could use a rule to simplify or expand it more. It seems like I can't at this point, so I've expanded log base 2 of x times z to the 5th power to the best of my ability. 